The Nobel Prizes are awarded in three scientific fields, chemistry, physics, and medicine or physiology. And if you plan on snagging one, we've got a three minute guide on how previous winners have managed it. Since 1901, 346 prizes have been awarded to 646 winners. The prizes can be shared by up to three people. So which characteristics reliably link with taking home a medal? Let's start with gender. Historically, for the best chance of a prize, it helps to identify as a man. In the entire 20th century, only 11 Nobel Prizes were awarded to women. However, it has gotten better for women in recent years. Since the new millennium, women have won another 15 prizes. The youngest winner was Lawrence Bragg, who was 25 when he won alongside his father for their work analysing crystal structures with x-rays. And the oldest was John B. Goodenough, who won at the age of 97 for his part in developing lithium-ion batteries. But your best chance of winning comes when you're 54 years old, the age of 24 prior recipients. And you should expect to wait for your award about two decades after you produce your Nobel-worthy work. So you best make a start on these projects by your 40s. Be prepared to share the prize. The percentage of solitary winners has dropped since the middle of the 20th century. Winners in medicine or physiology share the prize most often, with 65% of prizes awarded to two or three laureates. Location matters for would-be awardees. To win a Nobel, you should ideally be born in North America and stay there. If it's too late for you and you were born outside North America, the best option to date has been to move there. For a slightly lower chance, it helps to be born in Europe and stay there. Or again, move there. Very few awardees hail from lower and middle income countries and most of this small group of winners have moved to North America or Europe by the time they're given their prize. You can improve your chances substantially by working in the lab of a scientist who's already won a Nobel, or who will in the future. Aside from picking the right advisor, you can also increase your odds by choosing certain research areas. An analysis of the 69 science prizes given from 1995 to 2017 found that a few disciplines are overrepresented: Particle physics, cell biology, atomic physics, neuroscience, and molecular chemistry account for over half of the prizes mapped. If you don't fit into the statistical ideal for a Nobel Prize, don't fret. Loads of people don't have one. I don't have one. And the Nobel Prize awarding committees are trying a few things to broaden nominations, asking nominators to consider diversity in gender, geography and topic. Then again, five scientists have won twice. Why aim for just one? <laughs>